Hey guys and gals and welcome back to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and we are still playing Guild Wars 2. Um, One Path Ends, the living story, the, fi the finale of the living story, so it's all very exciting. Um, we've just uh, been to locate the Eye of Janthir, which promptly pissed off, as you do. Um, and we're going for a secret meeting now with this Shining Blade agent who is currently unnamed. Um, and that other woman who I can't remember her name, so there we go. Um, so I'm going to go this way, starting in Divinity's Reach, as you do. Uh, running, running. So we're going to the, the mausoleum. Mausoleum. It's also known as a graveyard. I mean, if this this shining blade woman is Livia, then it kind of these are kind of subtle hints, you know. It's, it's sort of thing you look back on and you're like, ah, oh, like the subtle hints. The whole meeting in the graveyard, around the dead, and Scepter of Or, and she's a necromancer, and all that good stuff. So let's uh, let's Isn't go in this here. Such a lovely oh. mausoleum, my favorite one, actually. Don't you like it? Spooky. It suits you. But really, we need to get moving. Have no fear, my dear. The entrance is just here. If you know where to look. Which I do. Okay, investigate. Walk this way. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Shining Blade Headquarters. Okay, whereabouts in the grand scheme of things is there? Okay. Uh, so it's it's under Divinity's Reach. Hmm. Well, this is uh, quaint, isn't it? Nice little... Uh, Underground house. There she is. Anise. That's her name. Of course it is. You're back. Yeah. Your exemplar brought me in. I came to ask again what you plan to do with the aspects. Exemplar Karida. Yes. Ah, that's her name, is it? We never had time for introductions. Well, I can't tell you about the aspects. Did you ask her? Despite rumors to the contrary, I am not dead. Stop talking about me as if I weren't here. <laughs> Anise, tell him to hand over the aspect. The commander wants to know what you plan to do with them. I'll take the oath if that's required, but I can't entrust the aspect to you until I know it won't be misused. You told him about the oath. What? Talking about the oath won't kill me, just telling the secrets. Besides, he wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> You're not Shining Blade. We'd never allow you to take the oath. Actually, I think it's a wonderful idea. I can imagine no more trustworthy and useful a person to have on our side. What? Follow me, Commander. Allow me to introduce you to the Shining Blade's inner circle. Oh. I just love how much this is going to hurt. It's just an oath of secrecy, right? <laughs> There's more to it than promising to keep our secrets. The magic involved requires igniting certain of your emotions. You could die. Okay. What do I have to do? I can't be at anyone's beck and call. I have an important mission to complete. You will be an agent at large. You will have special freedoms, so long as you are not working against Krita. Okay. Exemplars, your attention. I bring before you one who wishes to take the oath of confidence and support the Shining Blade. In the interest of expediency, are there any among you who do not know who he is? 
<laughs> it appears your reputation precedes you, Commander. Let us begin. I'm actually quite Within scared. the holy light of the shining blade, I call this gathering to order. Blessings on Kryta and on Queen Jenna. Blessings, Blessings on Kryta and Queen Jenna. Queen Jenna. Exemplar Mahid, would you lead us, please? Uh, it, it would be my honor. Commander, do you freely submit yourself to be cast into the fires of the Blacksmith's Forge? I do. My fellow exemplars, will any among you speak out against this petitioner? I will. Never before has a non-human supplicant taken this oath. Hear me. I vouch personally for his honor and sincerity. I have watched him for many years. You've... what? I've seen him do great deeds, and I know the many sacrifices he's made to defend Tyria. I have witnessed his integrity. At a time when elder dragons endanger the whole world, Kryta must make uncommon allies. I trust this defender of Tyria. Oh, drastic times do call for drastic measures. I withdraw my objection. Anyone else? No? Then let us proceed. Brothers and sisters, I ask you, how is the petitioner softened to our cause? By the, By the tempering, tempering of his metal. His metal. How is the petitioner judged for steadfast integrity? By, By the, the crunching, crunching of, of his metal! metal. Is this? How is the petitioner tested for resolve? By, By the, the shaping, shaping of his metal. metal. We are the enemies <laughs> of the shining blade. You will reveal all their secrets to us. You will, or your life is forfeit. Then I will take my sincerity to my grave. You are wrong. What was that? <laughs> Prepare to experience a dark moment fuck? in our history. This will birth empathy in your heart for the Shining Blade. Fight like your life depends on it, and stay alive as long as you can. I'm playing Kira this time. You be Shadow for once. Fine. Ahem. Welcome, Fire members up. of the Shining Blade, to the Henge of Denravi, our sanctuary from the White Mantle. Yes, welcome to our headquarters, where we make all our critical battle plans. Behold, my white mantle friends, it's the Shining Blade, just as I promised. Marcus, what dastardly betrayal is this? You sold us out to the white mantle? How could you? I will slit your traitorous throat to arms! I have no idea what's going on right now. I am so goddamn confused. This is still part of the test. I'm, I'm so confused. 
like some sort of, I don't know, dream or hallucination. Well, okay. us all. I hope Shadow got away. So much death. Well played, my dear. I suspected you had a sense of the dramatic in you. Don't get too comfortable. The next trial won't be as leisurely. I guess, like, you have to survive for so long in that one. The Shining Blade warred for years with the White Mantle and their Mursat overlords. The Razor of Fate is precocious and could have swung in any direction. Our future was unknown. Fate's Razor? Nothing. Never mind. And that led many among our ranks to doubt, fear, regret. Inner demons. Inner demons? Believe me. I'm bombarded by them every day. Now you must face those that bother you most, so you can overcome them when someone uses them against you. Well, that doesn't look anything like me. Stop with the hammer. You should never have gone off in your own without destiny's edge. You will trail without us. Oh, okay, I see. I get it. My son, my hair, my heart. You corrupted my legacy. Dad, I win. So basically you have to speak to the things, get closure and then throw your special skill at him. Quite simple really. Master Exemplar, he has proven his mettle. Oh, do we there you stand go. ready to accept his vow? We do. All that remains is a journey through magical darkness to the sacred chamber where you will take the oath. Trust me, I will guide you safely there. Oathtaker, we have shared the wounds of our past. 
We now reinforce our future. That's With cool. this oath, you will be bound to defend our secrets. You attempt to reveal them on pain of death. Repeat after me. I am bound by, by the blood spilled from shining blade veins. I am bound by the blood spilled from shining blade veins. The secrets of the shining blade are mine to safeguard beyond this circle. The secrets of the shining blade are mine to safeguard beyond this circle. I will breathe my last breath before I will betray this oath. I will breathe my last breath before I betray this oath. It has been bowed, so shall it be. The Trusted is now complicit in our mysteries, and a protector of the kingdom. You're an honored agent of the Timeless Shining Blade. We may now share our secrets with you without penalty. Awesome. Can I have that? I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Can I have it? Some sort of sword, by the looks of it. Can I have it, please? Anyone? Guys? Hello? Huh. Don't forget. You tell, you die. About that. Spill it. Very well. I suppose I'll answer your question now. What was it again? Hmm. Oh, you're funny. You know what I want. I do, yes. You want Balthazar, and I want Lazarus. As long as the aspects are out there, Krita isn't safe. You are planning to destroy them. No. Once I have them all, I'll use them to resurrect him. Have you lost your mind? I had a similar reaction. Though mine may have included more hmm. profanities. <laughs> when he's up, I'll unleash every ounce of Crichton wrath I possess on him. I'm going to annihilate him, and the Mersat will never be seen again in Tyria. What? Oh my We've God, she's already so hamstrung the White Mantle. Time to extinguish the last Mersat. Are you coming? You think you can find the Eye? I'm counting on it. I won't stand in your way, but you can expect an... I told you so, if this goes sideways. Understood. Here's the plan. I've heard conflicting reports on the Eye's location. We may have to track a bit. So, we split up, you to Orr. I'll have a ship waiting for you in Lion's Arch. We'll meet up once we spot the Eye. Trying to ditch me again? Why don't you stop by Ratasu? My guildmate Taimi can give you a calm device like mine. So you can keep track of me, my dear? No. So we can keep track of each other. Mmm. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Oh, and, um, thanks. Mmm. I just, her hatred for the Massart, um, is just too too great for her not to be Livia. She she really hates the Massad so much that she'd bring back Lazarus just to kill him. I mean, what? Um, I'm kind of hoping she does bring back Lazarus and he escapes. Uh, just because it'd be cool to have Lazarus around, with that, you know, have a Massart around. Maybe even he, he brings the rest of the Massart back. Whether that's possible or not, I don't know. I mean, they keep throwing all these sorts of weird and wonderful things at us. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I was thinking the story was going anyway. That she's going to collect all the pieces and actually bring back Lazarus. But I thought, nah, surely not. But, yeah, apparently it's confirmed. Yes, yes, she is going to. So, um, Countess Anise is much like her. She's like, yeah, not quite sure about that. There's a statue. That's interesting. Um, I'm sure there are lots of little side quests that you can do in these instances, which I will come back and do. Um... So that's that's about it for this instance. We've sworn an oath to the Shining Blade. How are we going to keep that oath being like uh, the the guild leader of Dragon's Watch and all that without sharing it with our, our guilds and all that and the oath and whatnot. I'm just waiting for this, this girl to take her 
helmet off. She's kind of got that, uh, not the same voice actor, I don't think, that, you know, to the original Livia. But the way she speaks and everything is very similar. So I'm kind of thinking quite possibly is. I'm, I'm hoping she is, otherwise I'm making a complete dick of myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> quite frankly, my demo don't give a dare. So anyway, that is all for this episode. Come back tomorrow uh, when we will be doing more instances. Not a whole lot's happened so far. They're taking their time with this story. So I'm hoping, you know, when we get towards the end, there's going to be the huge WTF moment. I'm going to be crying like a little girl and everything's going to be great. So, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. I love you all with affections unspeakable. Goodbye.